Okay, so we're back with some music. So this is just kind of a basic, typical Zumba song where we're starting back out with the marching. So if you just need to, march real easy. But you can also get your whole body into it. So you can see where this is a lot harder to do than this. But maybe this is where you're at, and that's okay. We're somewhere in between. But if you want to, you can get everything going as you learn the step. So, okay, let's go to a right mambo. Front, back. So this is slow. Two more slow. And now fast. Now I can put my whole body weight get back on the beat here. But if you can only tap, that's fine too. You can tap in the beginning and after you get better, you can get that step going. Easy. Hard. And switch. Slow. We'd never do it this slow in Zumba. That's a good way to learn. Pick it up. So you can tap it easier. Or get that whole body going. So I have people in their 80s doing Zumba. They are not going like this. They're going like this. Having a great time. Work at your own pace. Okay, march it out. Let's practice that mambo, single, single, double. Ready? Right side. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. One more. Change feet. nice and easy. You could tap it or put a whole step, get that hip going. So this is salsa front, salsa side. Now in aerobics, they go like this, big move. This is not aerobics. It's Zumba, so try to get the hip shoulders going if you can. To the back. Step it to the back or you tap it if you need it easier. Whatever you need. Back to the side. So a lot of times it's the same beat. I'm going to say Charleston. Right foot forward, left foot back. So again, nice and easy. This is very easy. If I want to get a little faster, I step it. Step it. Get the hips going, shoulders going, waist going, working everything. And change feet. Front, back. Front, back. If you need a score, you just tap maybe in the beginning while you're learning it. And march it out. Back to the side soul stuff. So, let's turn it into that six count merengue. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, uh, this is not the six. Not the right music. A little slower. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it was fast, it'd be like this. Yeah, let's do it with this music. Okay. Front side. Front side. Front side. Harder. Get that whole body going. You see where the twist is going? Or easy. Front side. Let's change it back side. Back side. Back side. Again, nice and easy. Or harder. Front side. Back side. Front 
side, back, side, front, side, back, side. You ready? And change, march it out. Front side, front, side, front, side. If you need easier, you tap it. Two more. Back side, back, side, back, side. Front side, back side. March it out, right, left. Something I think I forgot to show you in the other one was a front side back change. Just like it sounds, we'll do it slow. Here we go. Front, side, back, change feet. Front, side, back, change feet. One more time, slow on each side. It's called the front leg. Front side back change. Ready? At the tempo. Front side back. Front side back. Change. Front side back. Okay, so it can be easy or a little harder. So any way those hips want to move, you just let them go. Okay. And relax. Just switch the music here. Don't go anywhere. A little bit faster, but still kind of slow compared to what we normally do, but it's better to teach you this way. So, different styles of music call for different steps. This is nice, easy, slow cha-cha. So let's start that cha-cha, cha-cha to the front. One, two, cha-cha, cha. One, two, cha-cha, cha. Side cha cha. And back cha cha. Remember, if the cha cha is too fast for you, you can leave it out. Back to the side cha cha. Now front cha cha again. One, two, cha cha cha. So we're going to start to angle these and turn them into a cross return. So corner to corner, one, two, cha, 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 one, two, cha, cha, cha. This is a side to side. Let's do the front to back. Back 
it up. And march it out.
walk it back. Now that's an example of a pretty fast mambo where you may just want to tap it instead of doing the mambo. Ready? Left side, mambo triple. Walk it back. Let's go back to just the basic movements of Zumba. It's a march. You're brand new. Again, you might just stay right here. That is fine as you're trying to figure out what to do. And the more you, the more you get into it, let your body move and just have fun. That's the part of Zumba. That is good. Just let it out. You're not going to look like anybody else. And that's okay. They're not looking at you. You're not looking at them. You're just having a good time. A little more. Get in there. Try to get in there. So this is just a march. This is a wide walk, a wide march. Let you get those hips going a little more. The more you move the arms, the hips and shoulders, the greater intensity of the workout. And tap out front. Make a nice easy tap. Practice giving it some hip. Get the arms going too. And just circle those hips. Circle, 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 circle. Will we do it one way? Other way. It just reminded me of something else. Hips, figure eight. Right, left. So the hips are kind of doing a figure eight. Okay. And there's other steps. I'm continually just kind of creating new ones. But you kind of get the idea of what's going on. So keep practicing at home. Keep coming back to class. On your paper, if you have one, remember the step. Come back and ask me about it. I love you. Blessings, blessings, blessings.